Welcome back, everybody, after a week off, because we figured, hey, there's going to be some big news coming at us from CinemaCon. We'll just hold back the podcast. That's a complete lie. I didn't know CinemaCon was even coming that soon. We just <laughs> skipped a week. So, but we are back. You weren't here. Week. No, no, I, I was out. I got stuck in a giant snowstorm in another state. That was fun. I was supposed yeah. to be back like, you know, nice. 12 hours ahead of when I was. I, I was great. <laughs> like, wasn't wasn't that when you, like you're going to watch sweaty men wrestle each other? Uh, yes. It's, it's funny <laughs> enough. There was a giant uh meat chant every time these two big guys would slap each other. The entire arena went meat, meat. So yeah, a lot of meat was slapping <laughs> other meat. That's so weird. That's that's crazy to me. <laughs> but that that's what wrestling is these days. It's all about <laughs> meat. Uh, but hey, as much as I love meat, all sorts of meat, I am here with other, uh, keeping this in Fallout universe, with other meat bags. Uh, see? See? Because the yeah. Fallout TV yeah. series is out on Amazon, and is, yeah. somebody that may or may not be living in a country that resembles uh, something from Fallout, that's Mitch. I mean, ironically, the Fallout world is greener than the UK at the minute. Oh, or a plate of water as well. No. It might actually have water, not just a thick layer of human crap. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Link tree on the screen. Yeah. On the screen in the description, yeah. and also if you'd like to follow our next member everywhere, he's doing stuff. Well, Tristan is here as well, and he also is from another country that's clearly in some sort of war. <laughs> uh, kind of, but like, yeah, Tristan was like the. Technically, the first like feeling of, of summer because it's like going like mm. it'd be like 32 Celsius or 90 degrees outside for the Whoa. first time. It's hot, it was hot. I was gonna say it's the war against the weather or something, right? Yeah, mm. most likely because it's it because usually it's for spring, so it's usually not that it's usually like okay and good. But yesterday was like it was like felt like the first day of summer. See, that's like you're missing the point because none of this weather makes sense because the Illuminati is shooting the harp machines up at the sky and changing the weather. That's why none of it makes sense. Oh, so that's why uh, I think Google had an uptick in people saying, look, that solar eclipse, my eyes hurt now. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's just it's just ever going to be like an encapsulation of America in 200 years time. It's going to be that. I was literally like right there because we were in the perfect path. So like a lot of tourists came to the state and everything. And it was ridiculous. Like every business was shut down because you couldn't go like 10 feet with your car. People were just lounged out in the middle of the street. It was ridiculous. I was like, oh, this was something. Um, the crazy certainly came out for that. Uh, I did not get any superpowers. People are wondering. So uh, that didn't work out. But uh, I'm shocked. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well. Have you seen the pictures of the Mars side of Eclipse it had recently? Oh, no. It's um nowhere near as good. <laughs> like it was, I think it was Phobos that went in front of the sun and uh -huh. it just awful. Uh, huh. I'll have to look that. I'll I'll Google that up. That that'll be pretty cool. Like completely different to how Earth looks. It's like okay then. Uh, it's, that's a W for Earth at least. Uh, <laughs> we got a W for one thing. Uh yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot of stuff. Um, I guess we'll do a little catch up. Uh, anybody done anything interesting recently? I went and saw um, Disney and Fox or 20th Century just put out the first Omen, and like I've never seen a single Omen film. And Shay was like, "I want to see that," so we went and saw it. I, if I can't believe Disney would greenlight a script like that with some disturbing scenes, that genuinely I was like, I feel uncomfortable watching this film. <laughs> it is. There's literally one scene, the people behind us a couple rows back, the, I heard the lady go, what are we watching? And she just said she turned her eyes away when we were talking to her after the film. I was like, yeah, I, I get that. It's, it's kind of <laughs> nasty. <laughs> so I say, I, I've never seen one of those. And I was supposed to see, I can't remember what one it was called in like the mid to late 2000s. Oh, there was the Only one, which was the remake. From, yeah, that's the one. That's, yeah. We, um, we won tickets from this radio station. So we drove all the way to London to the exact place. And they're oh. like, we have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. It's like, we just driven like four hours. Okay. I was going to no, say, that's know, just... like terrible timing. Like, I can't, oh, imagine wasting that much time. God. Yeah. 
ironically, it was an omen for me to never watch the omen. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, then uh, I'm not I'm meant to clearly watch, to watch this film, so I'll, I'll never. Some kid will listen to this podcast right now. What is a radio station contest? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a podcast, but not in real time. <laughs> Oh, it's like a live Twitch stream, but for radio, uh, over the waves, just audio, not, nothing else. Oh, what, what a wild! I, I just, I just realized how old a radio station sounds. Uh huh. Yep. 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 <sighs> uh, oh well. Yeah. Well, Tristan, you got anything less depressing? Mm, not really. <laughs> Yep, that, that sums I'm up nearly everything. Done with my rebirth platinum, if that brings the mood oh, up good god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only right. 170 hours into a whole well, the PlayStation's telling me 180 odd, but I know that's lying because it doesn't stop the timer and account for AFK time, right? Right, it's just how long the game's been you know turned yeah. on, yeah, yeah. So in game, it's like 172, See, I think. Last year, I used that as an excuse when somebody was like, You played like 200 and whatever hours of call of duty on playstation i was like actually like 30 of those hours are waiting for the menu and fixing my guns so no it, it didn't sound that much better but you know oh that reminds me um wasn't it through oh. call of duty that they had that godzilla versus kong like there is something that. yes I, I yeah, yeah. dollars for the glove or something yeah yeah yep. eight dollars for like a kong glove or something yep what is it with these these developers <laughs> And insane prices at the minute. I it's I'm not talking about any one issue in specific. <laughs> it, I mean, there's inflation, then there's have a hundred twenty dollars for uh, yeah. three day early access to a Star Wars game. Like, no. From what I've seen, it's just mostly investors seeing how far they can push it. Mm-hmm. Like, pretty much, yeah. But I having a clout that. tax is kind of crazy for games. Because yeah, um, I think uh, Valorant. Valorant has something similar to like that where they had like for cosmetics they go up into the hundreds and it's just Ooh, like yeah, look at this nice. you know look at this cool animation for this gun that's like fun for like 10 seconds and then you don't care anymore yep that's crazy yep it's it's wild um but yeah that's that's kind of i guess the, the roundup of <laughs> everything so do we want to just get into this show oh well, we got stuff to talk about pretty sure yeah yeah Yeah. all right so let's start off with our first piece of news here the first topic we are going to talk about the casting of the silver surfer and that's where i'm going to stop and we're just going to assume everything (laughs) and not go any further because if you just read the rest of the first paragraph from the initial report from Mm -hmm. the big trade like deadline hollywood report everybody Mm -hmm. you would know it's not the silver surfer well so it Technically, it, it, what they're yeah. pulling from is a Silver Surfer, but right. not the 616 version, which is yeah. oddly confusing because MCU is technically 616. Right. Um, this one, this particular Silver Surfer is the one from, is Juno, the one from Earth 829. Is who? Isn't it? Isn't, isn't, isn't that what? No, it's, it's Charlotte Bow, isn't it? Or Charlotte Bow? Uh, whatever name. I'm Dumped looking at like it. it, it uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what Deadline said originally. Yeah, there's some, some, uh, some, there for... some like speculation that they might have got that wrong, but again, we don't know because yeah. they Cause just I'm know looking... she's female surfer. Because I'm looking at it, and it's uh, that's that's who she is. Yeah. That's that's the female version. So, from what I actually gathered from this, because I was trying to read, because yeah. all the reports were hmm. saying, well, she could be this, but it's this universe. Is I think what's getting mixed up is they're using the idea. Of the surfer huh. from the other multiverse, yeah. but yeah. they're doing the other character that's technically uh, yeah, also in the yeah, proper... because the reason why I thought about it is because she has connections to uh the Greek gods because she's the granddaughter right. of Hercules. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Because when when Deadline initially reported it, anyway, yeah. it was um they said Charlotte Ball, who was right. been around since like sixty eight. Right, and then oh, following reports stated that it's based on the character from another universe, which contradicts that. Yeah. But I'm guessing yeah. it's the classic MCU amalgam, I'm going to guess. Yeah, probably. Like, yeah, yeah. Get one and at the end of the day, I think yeah. what people really missed is that it's obvious this movie's not in the 616. Yeah, and... Like, we're going to talk gonna, about it later on, but... Yeah, yeah. That's absolutely. like, I was going to say, we're going to talk about that separately because the things can go hand in hand, but also... 
just the notion of, oh, there's a silver surfer, right? That's female. And people mm-hmm. are like, but you ruined the Herald of Galactus. I'm like, no, there's- Galactus has had like a dozen heralds. <laughs> I was going to say like, he had like 30. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, and also my favorite like- one was when people saw the whole Shard of Bull thing. It was oh, as long as she acts like Nora, it's like well, why would you want a different character to act like Nora? <laughs> like no one says that for any of the Green Lanterns, or any of the Flashes, any any legacy character. No one ever says that, but for here, it had to be said. Like why? Like, I know why. I just want them to say it out loud. I'm like what, what's what's the point? Yeah, yeah. You want comic accuracy, and then when the character is appearing, you don't want them to be like anything like they are. Right, right. It's. Like, this whole thing, the discourse around it has already become a complete nightmare, and just the grifters are grifting, and to me, this doesn't ruin anything. Like, if we see her, and it's that version of the character, she's from Zenoa, so we could technically see Norin in that universe, and they could do the entire Fantastic Four, Mr. Fantastic thing. A different actor can play him, and if people like him, be like, okay, you're MCU's Norin. If they don't, we just recast you like John Krasinski. Like they the multiverse is infinite possibilities, and people are mad that we're getting one out of infinite possibilities of a silver surfer. I yeah. am I am blown away. And to me, let's say hypothetically, they used Norin Rad as the surfer in this. Guess what? He is now wasted because you can't reuse the same villain again over in a different film because you got to move merchandise and get people interested. It's hard to repeat. Like he he would, in my opinion, be wasted uh, if he showed up in this film as the core surfer and then they defeat him. It's like, oh, well, okay. Like, thanks, I guess. What happens yeah. to the surfer now? It's like, oh, we're in the MCU now. Don't worry, we know how to stop him. Here's how we did it in hours. Like. <laughs> yeah, give us something different, you know. Like, it's okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, uh, I said it's 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 totally fine. It's, yeah, I can never remember yet. who's who's playing it. Is it? I always want to say a, a different name, but I know it's not. Uh, Julia Garner. That's the one, Julia Garner. Yeah, I only know that because I'm looking at her name. Because I was going to say Julia Carpenter, but then I realized that's, that's, yeah, uh, that's exactly what I keep going for. So I know it's yeah. not Carpenter. <laughs> Maybe no, that's why one of my friends looked at me sideways when I when he was talking to me about Surfer, and I think I said Julia Carpenter, <laughs> and I think he caught me but didn't want to call me out. So <laughs> that, that makes sense. I'm a, such a fake nerd. Listen to me. <laughs> what a fake nerd. Can't oh, we're all fake. Right. It's, it, it's true. It's true. So there you go, everybody. Just a little on that. Um, we'll get back to it soon. But <laughs> here's what I want to talk about. Zack Snyder okay. continues to take foot, put it into mouth over and over again, because in the last week, he's made some comments that I even saw hardcore Snyder fans being like, is this dude serious? Is this actually serious? And it's like, yes, he is dead serious about multiple things he said. Um, So let's start off with Zack Snyder was like, well, I mean... If we look at Sucker Punch, it's a good film, but maybe my fan base should start demanding the Snyder cut of Sucker Punch. It's like, oh my God, stop. Crazy. Stop. This man has never learned to make a film. No. Like, he I'm... actually physically can't make a movie in at least the Hollywood I'm... studio well, system, right? He physically yeah. cannot make a movie. I'm just wondering, like, how, what would that entail? Like, how would the. Uh, probably cut... more. Uh... R-A-P-E. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> more fetishizing. Of, Wait, does he have, like, does, do they still have footage of it? Because, like, well, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm thinking, like, what, you're going to have to try and, like, reshoot things. I don't think that's so going to. From what I understand, there is a different, more adult and oh, Zack okay. snyder cut of this film that uh. was on the cutting room floor. They never finished it in it's essentially a Justice League situation. Uh, they told them to cut it down and cut out a lot and do something different. So mm. he did. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. Um, but because even you know the, the, the theoretical version is like it's not something you want to watch. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> it's uh It has its issues, but then um, 
he continued to talk a little bit more about everything going on. And then he talked about how I am not making this up. He says that he believes that the DC fan base is brainwashed and that's why they won't accept hmm. like the DC universe, the way he was shaping it up. Now, this is where a lot of people on his side came out. And I literally saw former, like, well, former Snyder cult members being like, my guy, I was literally a part of your cult. This is exactly what your fan base is. And the hmm. guy provided his own receipts being like, look at how terrible I was to anybody. Like, I was like, wow, somebody got character growth once they just jumped out of that. So that's, that's incredible. Like it's, it happens. It's rare, yeah. but it happens. If somebody Dude, can do you, it. You can't really um, get someone out of it because pe most people that are really are butts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is proven at the Oscars a couple of years back. So, yeah. Your best cheer moment. <laughs> and it was <laughs> a flash because everyone cared about that scene that much. <laughs> mm. So he said that. And then there was a couple more things he was just talking about generally. Um, more about his projects, uh, talking more about how he would love to do more Justice League sequels. And this time, he said he's even willing to do it animated. So <laughs> that means use AI 100%. Oh, 100%. Can you imagine an AI Snyder movie? Christ. So, uh, do you? Uh, I'm going to reveal a AI trick. Some people might have picked up on it, but some haven't. So, some of the biggest AI, um, tools out there right like mm. i won't name any of them for but you probably know which ones i'm talking about because they're the most popular ones well you have to feed ai into it and what people want so people realized and it was confirmed by one of the guys that feeds into ai the reason that a lot of times you are looking up comic book film images and it always looks like a mm. Zack snyder film is because the ai grifters mm. are Hardcore Zack Snyder fans, and they feed yeah. Zack. Snyder. It, it, it all yeah, makes sense uh, now. It uh, all—it's uh, a full circle moment. Like it clicked yeah. with me. I was like, "Oh my god, I see it." Is this the uh, easily fooled? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Buy into crypto. Buy into NFTs. Buy into AI. No. Uh -huh. Buy into Justice League. Like, no, it's. Uh, <laughs> it's all the same. Dumb yeah. It's. Um. It's. It's been a week. Um. I've noticed that Zack Snyder, if he's talking straight up about Rebel Moon, it gets no traction. He has to drop no, no. DC stuff in there for anybody to take notice of it. And I genuinely forgot about Rebel Moon. So when he when this came out, I, I sat there wondering, like, why is anyone talking to this guy still? He's got nothing coming out. Yeah. <laughs> then it hit me. I was like, oh, yeah, the second part's coming. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, it was like, there's, there's Rebel Moon 2. <laughs> he was, like... And the director's cut of the first movie's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, people, like, 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 people were like crapping on like Dune and saying these are for the uh, those are Rebel Moon 2s for the men. I'm like, what? Right. Uh, now, uh, hold up, hold up. I thought all the memes were jokes about a director's cut of Rebel Moon. No, those memes came directly from Snyder. He said that there's like an hour or two extra or something like that. That completely changes and how the, the the movie that came out is not really in not really canon. I just astral projected out of my body and saw my own <laughs> spirit leave me twice over. I this is this is the greatest grift in the world. He's figured it out. He's Somehow it, it is, out. yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh it's man. Right day, you know, like, someone finally says no. Someone, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I suppose that's it for this week. And what did Zack Snyder say? I guess that's becoming a monthly topic. So we'll come back to this in a month. Hopefully but it's not monthly. Uh, it's hopefully not. We don't know. <laughs> but hey, we did learn something that's finally happening. After literally confirming a new TMNT live action film was coming, they confirmed this in 2018 and then again reiterated in 21 and 22. We got the update this past week at CinemaCon. TMNT The Last Ronin live action R-rated film is happening and apparently everybody at the studio was like when they started talking about what do we do with TMNT 
this is what everybody like landed on this idea nobody was like hey let's do another reboot with the four turtles and make it for kids they're like we got the mutant mayhem universe and the tv show for kids now let them have that we're gonna go in a final ditch attempt to make live action tmnt matter and it's it's this is it it's the only one that makes sense like i know like the graphic novel is good but it's odd that this is uh they're going like all in on this with the the was it the video game that's mm-hmm. supposed to come so out it's got a game recent. it's got another yeah. like movie coming out of it yeah. see this is the thing the last ronin is the only team and t book hollywood has read in the last 30 years yep yep it really shows <laughs> it is <literally, laughs> everything this one book's getting is like yeah so this is the only thing people are i say this as a tmnt fanatic people know this follow the channel me on social media the last Ronin is the Dark Knight that Frank Miller did for Batman. Yeah. And yeah. people think it's the only thing. Like, now look, I love the last Ronin. I still think the like normal ongoing continuity that's been done over the last 15 years is the best. Like those comics are just amazing. But I understand why this is your go-to. This film will, in its upper limits, probably cost no more than like 75 million. This yeah. is going to be dark, dingy. They're going to put people in suits. Like, it's going to be, I think, the film we need because let's be real about this a $250 million TMNT film is not going to make 700 million again. We've yeah. just like the recent Ghostbusters. We now know what the ceiling for this franchise is, and it's 300 to 400 million box office. That's it. So, yeah, Which this is, is it. Like, you know, let's, let's go back to the times when movies didn't need to make a billion. Yes. To be yeah. a success, like, you know, where it's, 400 million was the automatic sequel territory. I mean, you know, you go back to when Captain America, the first Avenger, and Thor came out in that year, right? And they made just around 450 million and they were global box office hits top earners that year even though they're again they were just barely profitable that was the norm it wasn't a norm to expect a billion till avengers hit and then everything after that had to be a billion dollars like we need to like you said tmnt needs to be a wave of new films that's like hey we made 300 million dollars off of a 60 million dollar budget we made 30 40 million dollar profit that's good enough for us make more sequels like the old underworld movies used to always oh, make my yeah i love those they were always made for the same budget always put out around the same time made the same amount of profit and they kept making them that's all you need it's sustained growth you don't need to constantly up all the budgets and everything to make more just be happy with what you're making and i think they're figuring that out so i'm hopeful I I about it's a bit like the um the game industry right at the minute yeah like, yep. the triple a games are just insanely expensive to make so they got a price gouge everything bro the they're, fact... they're having the same they're having the same problem exactly yeah yeah it's become insane um and if you look at like the last ronin the thing that sticks out to me is this doesn't have an established like history to it so this to me is telling me that this film might be a sequel to the original TMNT because part how else me, would you do it? You know, part like, of me agrees, like, yeah, why would you not use that? Right. The other part of me is, I don't think you need to use it. You don't, you, yeah, you don't. I think you just uh, kind of maybe like acknowledge it, you know, to the hardcore fans, like, hey, look, yeah. when he's in his lair, remember that one helmet perfectly from Shredder? From the first film oh it's right there you know it's like oh okay yeah. i see it you know don't need to make it a direct sequel but wink and nod to the longtime fans because yeah but at the same time i think you could do a really good job with using the originals and i think using oh, yeah. the originals would really help out but mm-hmm. i just don't know if you necessarily have to yeah oh you get no complaints from me either way to be honest but i'm just surprised yeah. they're even making the live action one i mean by the way it's looking we're probably getting that game in like 26. This film probably in 27. Yeah. Maybe even if they get it on time, we could get it in 26. Like it could be a good year for TMNT. So mm. hopefully, is anyone adapting out. the IDW stuff from like the 2010s? 
no, and that's what I was hoping they would. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the best stuff. stuff. Was so good. That it's, stuff was so good. And I'm not even yeah. a huge TMNT guy, but oh man, I was obsessed. Yeah, with that. yeah, that stuff was great. Was still that, going that, on. That, so. that run went. Is it still actually going? I thought. It oh yeah. Going. Oh no. Oh, it's still going. Uh, Go, getting a up. complete creative reboot this summer but still going oh, it's yeah, like yeah. 150 issues i was, in con- I was confused at that because of the announcement where they yeah. said that it's technically like this volume is finished but they're technically trying to do a version of a reboot and with mm-hmm. new creative people i was like okay mm-hmm. i wonder if they're doing the more like invincible reboot because that that had literally had an art called mm-hmm. reboot and it was really good it wasn't really a reboot but i wonder if they got like that right no I know. I might have to catch back up on that because I love that IDW stuff. Yeah, it's great. It gets crazy. They definitely go a lot more not so street level and dingy like the first couple arcs. Yeah. Like they go out there, and it honestly, it gets so good. It gets insane, but good. <laughs> Maybe so, one day get a nice yeah. little animated series. Hey, Amazon, Maybe. you'll do really good in a minute. Seriously, though, like uh, yeah. Pick it so, up. Seth Rogen, come on. You've already done it with one movie. Let's just make a series. Yep. But hey, um, speaking of series and movies, let's just jump on to Marvel's Black Knight. What does the oh. future hold for this character? Let us know, Mitch. What's the future hold for Black Knight? I feel so bad for <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's so bad. This man's lost Game of Thrones in the MCU in the, set, like, the span of a week. It's, it's not yeah. Yeah. Man, um, but on the flip side, just because the actor says there's no current plans doesn't mean he isn't like lying through his teeth. And also, Marvel Studios doesn't tell you there's a project in the works till they're literally like, Hey, clear off three months for something, don't tell anybody yeah. what, but <laughs> something you're like, Oh, okay, like, so I, I, you know, Black Knight, I think, will be back, I think it's gonna happen, but. <laughs> How we get there and how long it takes, oh boy, I think this could be a long haul, you know? <laughs> like, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's kind this of sucks. like, I, I'm kind of like surprised that nothing is happening faster, but at the same time, I definitely think he's going to pop up in one of the upcoming projects as a supporting character sooner rather than later. <laughs> I thought you were going to say he was going to have a cameo role, and that's it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, it's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be upset if he wasn't in Blade still. Mm. I, I, I assume he's not going to be in it anymore, but I, it's kind of, that's disappointing for me. Yeah. I, I'm kind of less excited for that movie now. I don't see yeah. how, like, like, you kind of make them... I, I get it, the... the you know, there was a connection there, but I don't see how you toss them into this world of vampires and things in a natural way. It's, I don't know. He feels I mean, a little was, out of it. Well, it's it, it, a natural bit. It's like his stick. No. Yeah, like, it yeah. would basically just depend on what they would want to do with Blade in the first movie. If they uh-huh. just want to stick to vampires or go with what, like, the current Blade Run is doing is basically just making him a supernatural hunter at that, at that point. Yeah. And I assume they're not going to do vampires for the first Blade movie, just to kind of yeah. get away from that and give it some longevity. But mm. yeah, I mean, whatever. At the end of the day, yeah. yeah, it's. I mean, do you think this also puts any light on their intention with the Eternals as well? Since he kind of went hand in hand with a major character from that, like. <laughs> I mean, probably yeah. Yeah, I'm. Mm. I'm in the process of letting that go, lucky humans. Times are flat circles. <laughs> it's nothing but pain. After seeing what Marvel's done with X Men '97, I think it's pretty safe to say Eternals and Inhumans have been uh, set ablaze behind a shed at this uh, point. I mean, I uh, thought you were going to talk about uh, what they were going to, what they did with Kamala, and they're doing now, or she's going, no, to, she's that's... she's moving to New York. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> Marvel the, sucks. Yeah, the New York X Men. Oh, uh, yeah. It's um, I don't know. 
I don't know. Oh, I just got that. That's why it's called Nix. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I saw that get announced. I was like, why the hell is it called Nix? Like, what is Nix? Because it's a movie Kamala. I, 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 I just literally group. just clicked that. I was like, oh, yeah. New York Knicks. <laughs> yeah. New York X Men. Yeah, I get it now. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, We'll wait and see what happens with some of these characters in their fallout. Um, whatever happens, happens. Just wait and see, I suppose. So, um, yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. a, a Black Knight's got some really good potential. Yeah. Uh, like a series or a movie. And if they're not going to do anything, then us, I guess. And mine. But yeah. Hey. It's just Sequels kind of around the corner. Maybe they can reboot everything. Yeah. So I'll reboot the MCU, and here's your Black Knight. They'll get. Um, I don't know. Something. The, the out big of it. lesson is the West Coast Avengers don't get um any respect. That's true. That's true. That yeah, is. Where, true. Where, where's She Hulk? Where's Hawkeye? <laughs> where's Black Knight? What's going on with the West Coast? I can't please. Uh, fallen into the ocean when the earthquake hit. That's what happened with the West Coast. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. It does. So um, well, Black Knight so... was British, good damn it. Yeah. We still so, value. Uh, that's the thing. It's like, so you really think about it. Like, he's an important player. They could use him, but again, who knows where? So it's kind of like just sit back and, I guess, yeah. wait. We'll we'll see. I think it's because they made him British and Cersei from the UK as well. This is racist. Ah, uh, right there you go. There you go. Yeah. Well, <laughs> speaking of uh, different worlds, let's then talk about different universes because Fantastic Four, by all accounts is set in another universe. It's a multiverse film. It will not be set in the MCU proper. Yep. Yeah. Um so this to me is sort of a best case scenario for how you set the stakes super high, establish a world that maybe has a lot of other variants that we could get into and see some fun things, right? Like, oh, look at this world's Iron Man or whatever, right? Like you could play around with that while showing us the Fantastic Four, show us the destructive power of the Surfer and Galactus, and then, hey, here you go. It's part of the bigger multiverse, and they're in the MCU. So you kind of like acknowledge the existence of all the other multiverses again. You know, the other Fantastic mm -hmm. Four teams. Like it's a fun Fantastic Four at its core is a fun pulpy romp through the marvel universe and cosmos yeah. and usually time and space that's what reed richards does to me this checks off all the boxes for fantastic four so i mean especially with like the art style they're going for or at least that they're uh -huh. putting out. it's that like retro futuristic 60s yeah yeah sort of look and it's you know what i'm i'm here for it yeah it's my, my thing is it, it just makes so much sense you, you look at the whole silver surfer casting thing you, you look at Galactus, you no, know, Galactus' whole origin is he comes from a different iteration of the 616, right? So, mm -hmm. hey, we just slightly tweak that to be from a multiverse and then apply that to everyone. And hey, there you go, you got your movie. Yeah. I'm just wondering if he's like gonna be is, like, I want to know, is it like he's is he gonna still be the guy in the purple suit? Because if he's not got the big pointy hat, go, huh. um. Just for the big lows, go for the ultimate version and have him be because, swarm. Yeah. Because the like in can in the canon reason is because uh every sentient being sees him differently, so it, so he could be technically true, in yeah. that yeah. and something else when they pan the camera from looking at a different person's point of view, which would be kind of interesting to see. I say that'd be an interesting way of doing it. Like, how'd you pull that off without confusing everyone yeah. to think there's different people, but I suppose you just have him being the camera and be like, I'm the same one. Yeah. I appear differently, <laughs> do everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they got so I think much... you do stuff slightly different in this movie. Yeah. Before Secret Wars. And then once Secret Wars happens, it's like, hey, here's... We get to repeat the same shtick again with Galactus and Surfer, but they're slightly different now. Mm -hmm. They're more like you want to see them. Yeah, exactly. It's they have a chance here to subvert some expectations, but do things differently. Focus on this whole multiverse thing again. 
by the end of this, their universe 100% is getting destroyed. Show us the destructive power of what will happen to the MCU universe if they don't stop yeah. an incursion. Like this film has that ability along with Deadpool and a couple others to show us like how horrific it is when you're alive in the middle of a universe collapse. <laughs> you want to see people die of an explosion of that huge of a magnitude? Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> yes. we we need to see at least one, right? Because they've only ever yeah. just said, oh, there's an incursion. You caused an incursion, Strange. Well, we never saw anything. Right. And it's like the Marvel is like, hey, there's a different planet over there. It's an incursion. Well, nothing really ever happens. Mm-hmm. Like, you need to actually... You gotta set the stakes for mm. Secret Wars, right? So let's actually mm. have one happen properly. I just like if they, if they do that during like Secret, Secret Wars, uh, I would uh, want to uh, almost, was, yeah, I would want to see a uh, Namor be there and actually be one of the I ones mean, that cause it. You could very easily have Namor in the Fantastic Four movie. Oh no, not that, not that plot. <laughs> <laughs> Just a slightly different <laughs> act of playing no more and <laughs> dang, there you go. I mean it, they should honestly add Namor to the Fantastic Four. Same actor, just have him actually like in there, kind of tease a Sue Storm thing. <laughs> uh, yes, a hundred percent. They should just have everyone in there. Have like just show you should if it is a well, I say if it is, it's, it's clearly a different reality. Like have have their doom, ha- have their mole man, have literally every fantastic war villain that you're either not going to use going forward or you want to set up, and then just go forward with that. Yeah, and have I their mean, movie just be this crazy, all-out brawl with everyone. Give me a nihilist, damn it! Yeah, yeah, it's it, oh, man. Do you save a nihilist? It, uh, honestly, I don't care. You could do them. Um, uh, don't give us a female a nihilist and give us a male one in the MCU. <laughs> there you go. Make this the split the difference. Give us, give us name. Like, they're, they're never going to do annihilation conquest as much as it hurts me to say that yeah. out loud. So just just doing just at least do a nihilist. They, give me the yeah. the cosmic the cosmic rod, whatever the hell he has on his on his neck. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that they split the difference again? Save Robot Galactus for MCU and do Swarm Galactus for Fantastic Four? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I, I think you kind of got it. Because yeah. if you show us Galactus that way in his first time, you take away a lot of, hey, he's yeah. coming in the MCU. Like You can't do the same exact one. So Unless it's back to front. We have the... The, the cheesy, the typical Galactus everyone wants in the 60s futuristic Fantastic Four uh-huh. first movie. And then when he's in the MCU, they, they do the we, we, we can't be accurate anymore for some right. whatever reason, so let's just make it a swarm of bugs. They do the bug swarm, Borg type Star Trek, and then you could yeah. have him form a giant Galactus robot that looks just different enough. Because yeah. We've seen with Celestials we can do giant floating robots in space now. So like, yep. You know, it's not that they're ever going to acknowledge that again. <laughs> Don't worry. The next Thor film, they'll fly by them again. They'll just look at the camera oh. and go, Oh, again. that wasn't That's even it. like the actual one. But, oh, I man. know no. that was sad. Uh, oh, we're going full Jack Kirby. My ass you are. Yeah, you are. Oh, there it is. That's that was something. That was something. Can't well, the Kirby crackling one damn thing. Uh, We'll see what they do with the Fantastic Four when the time comes, I guess. So, um, I'm excited for it. It makes a lot of sense with all the stuff they put out there, why it's like a different reality. Exactly. I assume the next one they're blatantly going to call it Future Foundation because we can't be the Fantastic Four in this universe anymore. (laughs) I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. Which then brings us to the world that they're going to, which of course is the MCU world and the Avengers. Um, the Avengers will be reborn in Captain America Brave New World to a degree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this was during CinemaCon when people were like, can we see the teaser trailers? And they're like, no. But uh, from what was uh, stated is that um, Sam will be going to the White House with Thunderbolt Ross talking about the new Avengers Initiative, 
which mm-hmm. in this I didn't know about this, but apparently Thunderbolt is the new president of the United States at yeah. this time. Yeah, yeah. With his, uh, uh, his undercut, his Harrison Ford with a uh, <laughs> horrific week. <laughs> yeah, and Lundry's grumpy. Yeah, good day. yeah, and like another statement is is that there's like I thought it, what they were talking about is that like that base from the teaser trailers that they always use, but no, it's actually in the trailer itself, and that it causes confusion because they have Isaiah Bradley in there, and he decides to attack both the both of them. Hmm. Interesting. And then there's another another quick scene of uh, Thunderbolt Ross telling Sam that he's not Steve Rogers, and then Sam says, "Yeah, I'm not." Right, right, and the racism. Apparently, <laughs> from racism. what we there was leaks before saying that there is a confrontation that's going to be Sam Wilson in the White House versus Red Hulk. So, could, since the the footage describes like this meeting at the White House. The leader takes everything over. He starts like moving things with his ob- like brain and stuff. It's probably possible that literally when we get the trailer, the last scene will be Sam ready to fight. You know, Harrison Ford's Thunderbolt, who starts to Hulk out, and then that's it, right? Like it's a perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, oh, what's happening? You know, it's gonna get the normal people chatting that people that don't know that there's a Red Hulk, like they're gonna be genuinely surprised. So it's the yeah. British description seemed great and matches up with other things we've heard. The other thing I think we can kind of know now because nobody talked about it. Serpent Society has been one hundred percent cut. They are not oh, yeah. anymore. Yeah. Faggy yeah. finally saw sense. It was like, yeah, let's not do this. Yeah, but, yeah, he did. But from <laughs> yeah, but from this description, it seems like Thunderbolt wants to make a new Avengers, and Sam probably said, "Yeah, but we're not going to be on the U.S.'s payroll, so we're going to do our own thing." And right. That's where all this, this conflict is going to start from. Mm-hmm. Which is why Thunderbolt says the asterisk, right? I, uh, I yeah, I still want to know what it is, and if I, like Faggy's like, "Yeah, we're not gonna." We're not going to tell you what the asterisk is about until after the movie. Yeah, it's because he's being he's being cute with it, isn't he? Uh, it's, yeah, because there are some companies like oh, I, I looked it up the other day. What who was it? I want to say Macy's uses an asterisk in there, or like E Trade, something like that. They use that asterisk like in as a punctuation. So it's it could be like that. Like it's the Thunderbolts is. Like it's his, but it's not his, and that's what they're just hiding that little apostrophe. <laughs> it's yeah. unofficially, officially mine. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. But who does Sam get for the Avengers? Is what I want to know. Hmm. Because there's rumors that Moon Knight was going to be in this for ages. Does he get Moon Knight on there? Mm, That'd be kind maybe, of crazy. Maybe. Just randomly picks funny. out. <laughs> he just shows up out of nowhere. He's like, oh, you're bang for your buck, ain't you? One person, get three of you? Cool. Mm-hmm. I think you obviously get She-Hulk in there. Yeah. Um, who else would, would realistically want to be on a, an Avengers team? Hey, maybe Strange? Uh, I, could, I could see him. Uh, I'm not or sure. Wong. I mean, it's probably going to be Wong, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. I mean, <laughs> yeah, Wong, She-Hulk... You toss in a bunch of like supporting names like uh, Shang Chi for the love of God. That yeah, I, gotta I, be I, doing I, something. <laughs> I, I forgot about Shang Chi. He's gonna he's gonna be in there for a bit, saying he hung up on him. Yeah, it's, he's gonna come yes. out because he's done his knee in. He's like, yeah, I'm here, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I twisted so... my knee on the set of Barbie at the Oscars. I'm fine. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, everything they're saying about. The new cap film seems to be like hitting good with the fan base. I've even seen a lot of people that like, you know, mm. everybody knows people in their personal life that are like, MCU died with Endgame because it's just a popular thing to say, yeah. right? It's just yeah. like I even saw some of those people sharing and being like, "Oh, I'm excited for this one." I'm like, right, because the MCU's been dead from Endgame, but you were with me at all the showings of every new Marvel film and talking about all the new Marvel content. All right, cool. You have to pay your respects. Come on now. Would, uh, uh, would Sam <laughs> enlist uh, America Chavez? Because uh, she's just, she's I like, mean, been, sure, she's yeah. been there for a while. <laughs> yeah. I say we, we could just do the all new 
all different route with Sam's yeah. team and just go full oh, out on that minus, yeah. minus uh, Jane Foster. But this is where you toss in Black Knight. This is it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it, but I don't think you're going to have... <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it if that if that's just that'd be a hell of a swerve. You know, we haven't even set this character up yet. Hey, he's a guy with the black sword. <laughs> Check out his armor. He's, he's pretty cool. Uh, man. Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? You just don't know. And so, <laughs> and you probably forgot where he's from, so <laughs> oh, oh, you know. <laughs> Him and Shang Chi just so there, standing in the back. Oh. Uh, it's his first appearance here, but Watch Blade in 2035. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not be that optimistic. Come on. I mean, it's obviously going to get delayed again, right? Uh, At this point, I'm just waiting for them to have secretly like hired Gilmore Del Toro, and that's what's taking so long, because that would actually make sense. It's been five years, and nothing's happened. Like, that would make sense. So it's... Oh, man. You could also get Vision out of retirement, you know. Oh, Oh, I forgot he exists. Yeah, yes. everyone did. White Vision. Yeah, I, I, I don't even just... think Feige knows where half these characters are at. But... Well, he asked to because they said that that Vision is coming back to something. They say a what? lot of things. In the yeah, movie. they do. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're going to have two Avengers films in six months. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, that went well. <laughs> uh, remember when they were like, you're going to be getting... All sorts of content on Disney Plus. Look at all these shows. Look at all these things. Wait, hold up. Hold on. Let me rewind that. Where's James Rhodes? Oh. <laughs> what happened to him? How is Armor Wars the hardest thing for them to make? I don't understand. I don't, yeah. What's going on? Uh, you, you made several Iron Man movies. and Or at least six, right? Because the, the Avengers yeah. movies. Yeah, yeah. How can you not make... Another Iron Man movie. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, this should really have been lost. like the first thing in Phase Four. How are we in? Are we in five or six now? Uh, no, we're in Phase Five, aren't we? Yeah. So, like, how have you? Has it been this long? Just make the damn Iron Man movie. Like, come on. Uh, so simple. I, yeah, I. Okay, so maybe toss James Rhodes in there, but uh, no, because he's a scrawl or was, and people no, can handle that. That, that so. never happened. Oh, that's it. Did, did they add Amelia Clark's character? I can't remember her oh. name. Gaia. Oh, okay, Gaia. Yeah, I was about to call her Gorgon, but I realized I was wrong, oh. so I just didn't say anything. <laughs> I, I mean, with the CGI might as well have been a Gorgon, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. Wow, I Watch it. it's gonna be some hokey Avengers team. Literally, no one ever wants, and that's gonna be the point. Th- th- that's it. the co- yeah. He's like had to assemble like a task force that was ordered by the president, and it's like a bunch of. They'll add in like two people from the wrecking crew. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Joaquin God, Torres's Falcon will be on that. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, that one I kind of expect. Uh huh. Yep. Because I assume he's in this movie. Hey, yeah, Sam. It's, it's going to be the want... dumbest Avengers line. It's going to end with Harrison Ford like raising an eyebrow. Like, really? <laughs> this, this is what you're bringing to the table? The, yeah. You're sure. <laughs> what's the this guy's powers? powers. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like, so what's this guy's shtick? Um, when he gets real angry, he might be able to use ice powers. We haven't completely <laughs> checked that out, though. <laughs> He says he can. We'll figure it out. It's like, oh, okay. We got Leapfrog from the She-Hulk series because we couldn't oh. afford She-Hulk. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Yes. Dude, yes. That's it. That's what you need to do. Add Leapfrog in there. Oh, man. And, of course, just to legitimize it, kind of. Let's have Spider-Man. <laughs> right. Just Peter Rose. Or because you've got the red guy that's Daredevil and he walks in and stubs his toe and he's immediately off the team. Guys, I need... What's seven episodes <laughs> worth in your time? How how many episodes? How much time is that off? I need to go. Claire, I need uh, surgery. <laughs> I did it again. Add in uh, their PR person can be Karen, and she'll just cry every time she's nice. on screen. Nice. Yeah. 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 I buy it. This is a great team. We I built a team that I don't even want to see. <laughs> this is great. I really want to see it just because I think it'd be hilarious. 
I could see it. Uh, it's just for fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just want to see like some random character like Ghost Rider just show up and people say, where was he the whole entire time? Yeah. We had this guy at disposal. What? <laughs> They should have done that with Thunderbolts, right? That should have been that yeah. movie. Not that I'm good. I'm judging that movie because I'm quite yeah. excited for where it's going to go. But the whole, um, let's just pull random guys out of thin air. Uh huh. I agree with that. So maybe that's what the asterisk is. It's actually the skull. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, you, you, you cracked it. You cracked it. <laughs> you got it. That's what it is. So there it is, everybody. I don't know. Let us know who you want in your assembled team of. Avengers. Everyone's gonna say the most OP characters go. It's gonna be a boring idea. Right? Oh yeah, 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 hundred percent. But um, that has effectively brought us to the end of the show. If you guys would like more topics, um, there will be us talking about Hulk versus Wolverine and what's going on with that, which we record right after this, and you guys can listen to it as well. It's up before this is live for the people that are members of the channel. So hopefully we see you guys there and um.